Phaser 3 came out about a month ago from this recording, and I've been very lazy about switching over because I have so many templates and tools that I use for Phaser already that aren't compatible with Phaser 3. But I know that if I stay in that comfort zone, I will get left behind, and Phaser 3 has a lot of cool features. So I'm going to show you how to put together a basic Phaser 3 template to get started. You can also just download this from phasergames.com, the Phaser 3 basic template. But if you want to set it up yourself and just know what goes into putting together a Phaser 3 file, then just stick with me. Now I've got some space on my local server. I'm using XAMPP and I pointed my code editor at that folder. And we're going to need a few things here. We need an index HTML file, and we'll need a JavaScript folder just to keep things organized, and the Phaser library. And of course, you can find that here at the official Phaser site, phaser.io, and click on Get Started, and then click on Download from GitHub, and there in the middle is what we want, minimum.js. And I'll download that to our JS folder. And I have some Phaser snippets here at phasergames.com. And it's under Phaser 3 Starter Snippets. And I don't have many up yet, but I'm getting there. And I've got a, some standard HTML snippet here. And just paste that into your index HTML file. And this simply loads in the JavaScript. And there are two files mentioned here that are not created yet. One is the main file, which sets up everything to launch, and the other file is the scene that needs to be loaded. Every game has to have at least one scene. And if you're coming from an older version of Phaser, then scenes are what replaces states. And you can think of a scene, or at least I do, as a screen, like a title screen, the main game screen, the game over screen, etc. So let's go ahead and create those files, main.js. and scenemain.js. The first thing we need to do to run this code when everything is loaded, so we'll do a window onload function. And don't make the mistake I do, I always camel case everything, but the window uh, onload is all lowercase. And now back to the snippets. And we are going to grab what is called the config object. And this is how we set up a game now in Phaser before we pass things to the constructor of the game object. And the first one is the mode, and we have three choices, just as we did in Phaser CE. Phaser.canvas, Phaser.webgl, or Phaser Auto which will let the browser decide which is best between the other two choices. Then we need a game width, and I usually use 480. And for the game height, 640 is my preference. And then we have a parent, which is what I call the div tag name. So here you would put the div tag name of, say, phasers-game. And then you can set up a div inside the index.html file. Then that would put the game there between those tags. And it's very useful to put it on the page somewhere. If you need to put it like in a certain place on the page, it needs to fit inside a box, for example. It's a very handy feature to have. And then the name of the scene. And that's going to be scene main. And of course, if you have more than one scene, you can put that here as well. Now we need to create that scene main. And I've got another snippet for that called blank scene. And this is used in a class structure. We have the class of scene main, and we extend it with phaser.scene. And then we need to pass in a string to the super or the parents constructor, a key to be used to ID the scene later. 
So pass in that scene main as a string in quotes. And we use that name in case we want to change scenes. And now we need to create that game object itself. And the game object snippet is right there. And then we pass in that config file to the phaser game. And then if everything is set up right, we won't get any errors over here. There, done. And if everything's working right, you'll see that little rainbow message from Phaser. And that's the easiest way I found to set up Phaser 3. And as I said, you can just grab that file from phasergames.com under Shops and Freebies. I hope this has been useful to you, and thank you for watching.